Okay, um, what I'm demonstrating here is how to properly configure your bartender labels for use with uh, AccuWare's QuickBooks Label Connector. Um, as you've seen from other videos, um, what our software does is it rapidly pulls data out of QuickBooks um, and pulls the data into a screen and allows you to quickly deliver that data to bartender labels that you would design um, and properly configure. Now you can see here we have a drop down of a lot of different labels here. The reason those labels are appearing in that drop down is we have a setting in here under configuration where we can direct uh, QuickBooks Label Connector to, in this case, look at the label samples folder uh, in our install directory um, and we do provide those samples with the software. So it's it's got a, a drop down all set to look at that particular folder. So that's a one-time setup that gets done, and that installs to look in that folder by default. Um, so let's take a look uh, in Bartender uh, now um, at a label that, uh, again, this is the same label that we're, we're looking at here in the software. I've got it opened up here in Bartender. Uh, and, and as you can see here, you know, there's the directory of all those same sample files that you saw uh, in the label connector. But, um, We've got a 4x2 label here that's going to be providing uh, label printing for data out of invoices. And um, in our reference guide, what we do is we give you all the parameters you need uh, to properly name these fields inside your bartender label. I'll give you an example here. If we let's open up this item uh, that's supposed to be printing here on the label. Now, what I've got here is a multi-part field, so the, just the word item doesn't draw any dynamic data out of uh, QuickBooks, but the actual value is being dynamically driven to this label. And as you can see here, I've properly named this inside Bartender uh, to use this, uh, this particular uh, substring name in Bartender uh, as the name of this field. So you can use, Bartender has a very powerful interface for adding new values, uh, or selecting from a value that's already on the label. But basically, if this field is properly named inside the label, uh, then QuickBooks Label Connector knows how to deliver dynamic data from the invoice to this item location. Uh, you can see here we, we've got the same thing for uh, the description. Uh, invoice line uh, description is the value that will go uh, in that position. Um, as you can see from our uh, user guide, we provide you with information in the user guide as to how to properly name these fields. Uh, in this case, you can see we've got the, uh, the description, uh, the transaction, which would be the invoice number, transaction date, several fields that are all supported here. And we're continuously adding new fields, uh, for example, like things like the ship to address uh, off of the invoice uh, is supported as well, as well as custom fields uh, from the item can be referenced by that custom field name from QuickBooks. Uh, so that gives you a feel for just how to set up a label properly in Bartender uh, so that it can be configured to uh, drive dynamic data to your label design uh, and then here on how to properly get QuickBooks Label Connector to go ahead and, and use that directory of labels uh, where you're saving your Bartender labels. Uh, thanks and hope this helps you. Talk to you soon.